<laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. And what what you would what you would normally see what you would normally see would depend on how far one way or the other they were. The more banality they were, the more their autumn side would show and their face self would be translucent. The more glamour packed they were, the more their face self would be solid and their banal self would be translucent. Right now though you're just seeing the fey. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you normally see it, but not as not as readily, yeah. The, you, you go to make this phone call, and you immediately get the, you, we're sorry, the networks are, are jammed at this moment, there are no, uh, no connections available. Aghast, yeah. <laughs> oh no, the, the 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 leprechaun's not uh, not. Yeah, he's he's not too unhuman looking. He, he he's he's short and, and oddly proportioned. And as as you're standing in the hall, you see three, like, nine to twelve-year-old puka children come dashing past you down the hallway, like squirrel puka. And they, they laugh and just run around the corner. <laughs> Oh, 
on that mom on, on that note, I just need a minute AFK. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, basically all of you, what do you do? So, so you're going with the discrete option. Uh, you can cheat. You can cheat either one or the other. Okay. Have you got seen? You would need Fay and seen to to affect all of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, um, yes. Uh, 
uh, yeah. Uh, what what bunker are you using, Doc? Right. Okay. Um, your difficulty is going to be a six. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not right. It seems to be connecting very slowly. And and as it does, you notice popping up on your phone like a new in a in a news app. You know how it always pops up like the breaking headlines and things. Um global panic as mass hallucinations reported. Yeah, um, you start flipping through and there are reports of uh, like 20, 30 car pileups in Los Angeles. Um, there are reports of, um, there are reports of yeah, all kinds of things going on that just don't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> There is still banality in the world, so there is still some structure to it, uh, but it is much more fluid than it was yesterday. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, you start thinking about having food. Roll me your glamour rating against, uh, sorry, your glamour minus your banality in D10s uh, against a difficulty 5. Yes, we'll we'll be there in just a moment. This this thought about the food is kind of happening as he's doing his his arm wavy. Uh, five. A massive silver tray of food appears in your arms. Yes. And and just because of the situation, um, it's a little bit disconcerting because Dwight, the head looks very similar to yours. <laughs> Roll me glamour minus banality against, in this case, a difficulty eight. Um, yeah. In this case, yes. Eight. Five. 
and a suit a suit of plate armor appears around you about the time that the wings then sprout from all of your backs no they actually do appear outside the armor Artessa. Yeah, neither of them answers right away. Are you just trying to make it look that way, or are you actually wanting it to be... Okay. No, I'm just trying to figure out if you're trying to create like a magic item, or just something that looks like that. Um, that might be a bit beyond you, because you don't actually know how to create those items anyway. Well, as, as you're all kind of standing here imagining things, um, you look out across everything, and the first thing you notice as you look, as you're glancing out towards the castle, uh, is the number of people running out of the gates. Pe people trampling each other, trying to get out of the parks. And then you also see settling around the castle, or settling over the castle, as it were, that.
Yeah, you 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 kind of zoom in and, and and focus your sight on Tomorrowland. Uh, yeah, give me perception uh, awareness. Uh, yeah, if you're looking, yeah. Alertness. Sorry, I keep saying the wrong. Uh, seven. It didn't affect your role at all, Doc, yeah. Yeah, you you notice you notice in Tomorrowland uh you see rolling out of the uh the middle building, kind of in the center of Tomorrowland, uh a number of these. Okay, so what is the extent of your, where are you patrolling? So you're saying you're going from the Contemporary to the Magic Kingdom, and then kind of down past the Floridian, down towards Animal Kingdom, Hollywood. Okay, you're doing all of that around there. Well, you don't know how much time you have.
Yeah. Everyone roll me perception alertness. Uh, seven. Intelligence Graymere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, not in this case, no. Uh, yes, seven. Okay, Jack, you provide most of the information on both of these, actually. Um, that thing on top of the castle looks to be a... what would normally be referred to as a chimerical creature. A creature of the deep dream. Uh, which would be some form of... Uh, un unchained Jin. You also notice, as you are flying past, what looks to be uh, at the top of the the battlements of the castle, kind of beneath where the Jin is standing, what appears to be a golden door shimmering in the air. Um, the other thing that you notice, as this is all going on, is that you are starting to hear screaming behind you as you realize that there is a flock of flying elephants following you with a bunch of terrified kids and parents in them, or on them. What? The, the elephants are. Yes. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are full-sized elephants at this point. These are full-sized giant blue elephants that are flying. This is all your fault, Doc. <laughs> you go back. <laughs> do you sovereign him or just tell him? Okay. Unless he follows me. Yeah. 
Well, what are you doing? Well, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, how many successes did you roll? You, you, mm -hmm. yeah, you're probably looking at most likely a scene. Glamour. Oh, yeah. Where are you landing them? So like maybe northwest of the Grand Floridian? Okay. You, um, you, you land and start shouting for people to get off of them. And as you're seeing people trying to jump off of elephants, some of them injuring themselves in the process, but still jumping off of the elephants, because flying elephants. Um, and the elephants are running towards you. And you know when you have an excited puppy and you've been gone from the house for a few hours? That's how these elephants are. And there's there's half a dozen of them trying to jump into your arms. And the Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, these 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 are putting off the personality of giant excited puppies. Now, you're gonna have to roll a dodge because they are still full size elephants trying to jump into your arms. Uh, dexterity dodge, yes. Dumbo. How did you not remember that? Vic, Vic, Victor flew back off towards the hotel. Dwight followed. Colin, what are you doing as, Do as uh, Jack is landing? What the hell? What? 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 What are the odds? How? 
How? How? The the odds of that are. So for that, it's going to be Dexterity Athletics. Yes, you are. I would agree with that, yeah. Uh, so your difficulty there is going to be, with the lower difficulty, a 7. It's about taking on the physical aspects of the dragons. It's it's kind of like when you look at the uh, the spheres in Mage. It gives examples of things you can do, but you have you have to look at the the theme of the art. And, and you can you can do things other than just what's specifically listed. You just add one success to the uh, to the end. You manage to land on the back of the lead elephant. Most of them, most of them have gotten off. Yes, there are a few that have not. Okay. Uh, Colin, roll me manipulation empathy. Nice. I'm doing it, Jack. Look at me. Woo! 
you manage to steer the lead elephant uh, off and away and a, a number of the elements do start to follow but some of them are actually distracted by the fact that Jack leaps up and flies over them and starts grabbing people off their backs. So the herd kind of splits and kind of half of them follow you and half of them follow Jack. Um, you gave me a dodge there. And at this point, at this point it gets a little bit confusing because, um, Jack, you're trying to fly over them to grab the people off their backs. But every time you turn to try to fly over them, they're trying to turn to follow you. And it's almost kind of becoming this kind of loop that you're all doing around each other. Uh, yeah, and uh, the elephants are, are getting a bit flustered at not being able to reach you. And mm -hmm. there, are, there, there, are, there are saddles on these. Yes. Yeah, the rides came to life. Yeah. Yeah, um, oh, over the next few minutes, you do manage to get the, the last few people off of them. You have a couple close calls and bumps with the elephants as they, as they nudge you and, and try to get to you. Uh, and then finally, you do get to a point that you have all of the people off. You actually, you actually end up taking two uh, levels of bludgeoning damage. Um, uh, you can attempt to soak, yes. That's included in his soak. Yeah, armor just gives you extra soak dice. Because you can still get through armor. It also gives you the ability to soak damage types that you could not normally soak. Mm -hmm. Normally you cannot soak lethal damage unless you have armor. Uh, so you manage to... Yeah, you do manage to soak the damage. Uh, some minor bumps and bruises, but nothing actually injury. <clears throat> and you're going to try to lead the elephants towards the uh, Jin. Okay. Uh, by this time, the rest of you... Well, uh, Colin, you're riding through the woods. I'm lost. Um, Dwight and Victor, you've arrived back at the rooms at the hotel. What are you two doing? Yeah. 
You, um... <laughs> You, you, you get down to the lobby, where there is chaos. Uh, there are people screaming and yelling, and um, you see one guy trying to shout to people to calm down, and people just freaking out as he does, uh, and you look at it, and he is dressed in the uniform of like a hotel um, maitre d', or a, 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 like a service like a worker, or possibly even like a manager at the hotel. Um, yes, and he's trying to calm people down and, and get them to relax and, and take things, you know, slowly. Um, you get the impression that he has not yet realized that everyone there can see the fact that he's a nine-foot troll. Yeah, he, he he kind of stops and looks at you and he goes, um, uh, "My lord, I'm 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 sorry. I'm uh, things are con confusing right now. I'm um um I everyone's it's um uh um uh and and yet you can see he's almost kind of just like processing has shut down." Um, yeah, with those numbers, you can do it. Now, because you're using multiple things, your difficulty is going to go up. Uh, you do refill your, uh, your willpower when you sleep, yeah. Mm hmm are you doing any kind of a bunk? Okay. Got it. Uh, your difficulty then is going to be eight. <laughs> Um, and you also need, um, actor, actor yeah, because a lot of these people are actually, uh, human, so with an actor one, you may not be able to affect most of them. No, cheating with glamour, basically what it's going to do is it's going to raise your actor to where it needs to be. So it's not going to affect your role, but it's going to affect who you can affect. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you watch as people kind of start quieting down and calming down, and they're still looking around very confused, but much more calmly. Okay. Got it. Yep. So, so as you're doing this dividing, what do you do with the ones that are still standing in the middle, 
who, who after you said kind of humans get to this side, Fey get to this side, they're still stood in the middle. You haven't seen any werewolves. Okay, canines are basically uh, humans with fairy blood. So they're they're. Um, if you've watched any of Glen, uh, of Grimm, the the Grimms themselves, the people who can see the creatures but are not one of them, would fall into that category. Um, they're the ones they can see the Fae, but they're not part of it. So that's the canine. They might not even know. Yeah, they might not even know why they see it, but they, they can see it. So you have them move over with the changelings, and you have any of the other supernaturals that are there move over to the humans. There are um, uh, hotel employees on both sides. Well, any technocracy or hunters likely would have just moved over with the human side. Um, as you as you start kind of shuffling through the crowds, you do find one person with a drawn machete and another person with a uh, a hand axe strapped to their arm. Uh, you also you also do find one person uh, who has a a very unusual looking um, kind of metal cylinder staff uh, kind of held at their side. Okay. So what I'm doing is I am completely covered. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it's under good. Yeah, pretty pretty heavily covered. Uh, and I will just whisper to the ones contain like holding weapons, saying, "Well, now is really not the time." Well, it's not. I think you are severely outnumbered. Make a smarter choice. And I'm basically just talking about that later. Whether or not. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, within the next 15 minutes or so, you managed to root out uh, four people who were armed. Uh, two of them you suspect to be hunters. One of them you suspect to be technocracy. Uh, the other one you suspect to be a really rich guy who might be involved in some questionable legal actions. Sorry? Sorry, the, the technocracy. Uh, bear in mind that the technocracy are one of the largest sources of banality in the known existence. Yeah, the person, the person that you suspect of being technocracy, the reason you suspect that is because when you step within about five feet of him, it is the first time today that you actually feel a, a, a kind of black cloud of banality settling around your shoulders.
Mm-hmm. 